Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we catch up with our coaches this week as we head into the final weekend of the regular season for basketball and joining us is our women's coach, Colin Lanneman. Colin, let's talk a little bit about last weekend. Uh, once again, some great performances just fell a little bit short you know, on the scoreboard. But once again, a lot of positives that we're seeing out there from our team. Yeah, we just kind of had a roller coaster of a game. You know, had some high moments, had some low moments, and we really, really never went on that big run that we were looking for. You know, had some defensive stops and didn't capitalize on the offensive end, or vice versa. We'd we'd hit a few buckets in a row, but then we'd turn around and give a few, uh, you know, up on the other end. So you know, just got to find that moment where we can go on a little bit of a run, offensively and defensively, and put that together. For, for little runs throughout the game. You know, let's talk, uh, it's last week in the regular season, it's senior night on Saturday night. Before we talk about Illinois Springfield, let's talk about this group of seniors. What a great group, been through some transition, but they have been the consummate leaders for you over the last four years. Yeah, you know, really appreciate everything that the seniors have done for this program, and, and for me in particular, they've made my life a lot easier, very coachable kids, um, very hardworking. You know, we always talk about being coachable, competitive, honest, and humble, and, and those, those seniors really embody, you know, what that means to be, you know, a saint, and they've really helped us build the culture that we're creating here. And Dolly Ringring is going to go down in the record books as – you know, one of the top women's basketball players to graduate from Maryville University. Yeah, Allie just kind of gets it done a little bit of everywhere. Um, you know, she may not be scoring as much as she's capable of, but she's doing a lot of other things that she's really good at. You know, she's led us in assists um, in, in past seasons, and, you know, she just kind of gets it done all over the floor for us. You know, we can always count on her defensively to, to guard the opponent's best guard, and so she's just kind of that rock that everybody always leans on. You know, if it gets late into a shot clock or, you know, we need somebody to take a tough shot she's always willing and able to knock that down for us let's talk about Illinois Springfield we had a great result against them a few weeks back but we all know it's tough to play up in Springfield what are some of the things you saw off of film from the first time and what you've seen from the Prairie Stars now that we're going to have to take care of business tomorrow night on the road? Yeah, Mark always has his team playing hard. And, you know, they've, they've seen some similar injury bugs that, that we have and had their, some players in and some players out. And so they've really had to battle with a lot of adversity off of a great start of the season. So, you know, they're always dangerous no matter what night you play them. They're going to be getting after it, uh, you know, watching them. We took control, I felt like, early in the game. We're getting some things done that we wanted to. And then late, they picked up their pressure on us, which I felt like we really responded to. And so, you know, we've talked a lot about just being able to deal with adversity. Um, you know, they're capable of running uh, multiple offenses, a lot of ball screens. Their defenses change um, with each game. So we've just got to be prepared for anything at this point. And um, so we, we all know the rivalry. Uh, but, you know, Thousand Saints, and it's a big, big night. It's senior night, a big night all across the board. How do you keep everybody kind of in the moment and not get too high or too low as we play our last home game on Saturday? Well, for me, I've been fortunate that the girls are just thinking one game at a time. Uh, we've, we've always been very grounded throughout this year, which I've, I've been really impressed with the maturity level of our team. And so, you know, we really haven't talked a lot about what this weekend holds. Um, I'm sure a lot of our seniors are thinking about it and kind of the reality of, you know, their last home game is coming up. So, you know, we, we've been pretty much – kind of grounded in where we are. So that's been really good. Um, obviously with the Kids Rock Cancer Night and, and everything going on, it's going to be a special night for everybody. Um, you know, we, we want to make sure that we do send our seniors off the right way. They've earned it. They have deserve it. You know, not to take anything away from the Kids Rock Cancer, but I want to make sure that those young ladies get the, the celebration that they deserve as well. Um, we know Umsel is going to come in excited. You know, they're playing for a seed, uh, seed placement in the, the conference tournament, and it's a, a very tough competitive athletic team. Uh, so we've got to be prepared to withstand that and to counter it with our own athleticism. Awesome stuff, Colin. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in Springfield tomorrow night. Sounds good. We'll see you there. Colin Lanham joins us as he does every week. We will have the audio broadcast of the game tomorrow night up in Springfield. We'll go on the air at about 525, and then Saturday night, 5 o'clock. Now, once again, note, normal Saturday games are at 1. This week, it's bumped back 5 o'clock start for the women. We'll actually go on the air at 445, and we'll bring you the senior festivities as we honor four great young ladies that have been so tremendous for us here at Maryville and then the game will follow right after if you can't follow the action online follow us on Twitter at Maryville Saints for coach I'm Jim Powers thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision have a great week and as always go Saints